UCLA Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science is a global leader in engineering research and education with the distinguished faculty, brilliant students, on a world-renowned campus in the heart of a dynamic and beautiful city. UCLA Engineering is rated fourth in the world by Microsoft Academic Research, 10th best engineering school by the Times Higher Education World University Rankings, and in the top 10 among engineering schools at public universities nationwide as ranked by US News and World Report. In 2013, UCLA Engineering was awarded Leadership of Fame, a $35 million nanotechnology center that seeks to revolutionize semiconductor technologies. The honor came months after the school won a highly competitive bid to lead a separate $35 million project, TAMS, a National Science Foundation Engineering Research Center. 2013 also brought first place wins and prestigious awards for students from bioengineering, civil engineering, and other disciplines. UCLA Engineering boasts a nearly one-to-one -one ratio of PhD graduates to faculty members, one of the highest of any engineering school in the country. And the affiliated faculty includes 26 members of the National Academy of Engineering and more than 50 recipients of the Career Award from the National Science Foundation. The school is building Engineering 6, a new anchor for innovation that will house three federal centers of excellence, a 250-seat technology and learning center, and more in a state-of-the-art building. The world is taking notice as UCLA Engineering continues to make headlines in the New York Times, Los Angeles Times, CBS News, BBC, and the Wall Street Journal. UCLA Engineering is not only a world leader in research, education, and public service, it's also a launching pad for entrepreneurs. The undergraduate degree that is most prevalent for Fortune 500 CEOs is engineering. So if you want to be a Fortune 500 CEO, be an engineer first. Dwight Streit heads the school startup incubator, the Institute for Technology Advancement. Founded in 2007, ITA has supported 18 startups based on technology developed in UCLA engineering classrooms and labs. ITA actively engages with the venture capital community and forms strategic alliances with industrial partners to spur interest and investment in UCLA engineering research. The spirit of invention and entrepreneurship has resulted in UCLA engineering faculty being awarded more than 100 patents in the last four years, including 35 in 2012-2013. If you can take the technology and turn it into a good application, make it work for something that makes life easier for people, makes communication better, then you can create a successful company. ITA also helps students bridge the gap from idea to practical business model. This year, for the first time, ITA sponsored the Student Entrepreneur Venture Competition. Teams including students from UCLA Engineering and the Anderson School of Management formed to compete for $50,000 in prize money with support from the Kay Family and Samueli Foundations. This year's winning team was Neural Analytics, led by bioengineering PhD candidate Robert Hamilton and his colleagues at Anderson. The company is developing a non-invasive test for life-threatening brain injuries. The test utilizes ultrasound rather than requiring a neurosurgeon to drill into the head. Your child hits their head in a football game or skiing or something, you'd like to be able to know uh, that they're going to get the treatment that they need. And being a part of something that could provide that and will provide that treatment um, is really exciting. Neural Analytics collaborates with the UCLA Brain Injury Research Center. Hamilton says being able to thrive in multiple fields like medicine and business is a must for the new generation of engineers. You can develop the, the greatest technology in the world, but if it doesn't get out from the laboratory setting to somebody that it can actually help, um, you, what have you done? For electrical engineering professor Diana Huffaker, working at the atomic level comes with big rewards. Huffaker researches devices that guide and concentrate light at the nanoscale for potential use in applications including solar energy, defense detection systems, and more. 
This year, she and three of her researchers in her integrated nanomaterials lab co-founded Nanopixel Technology, a company developing novel crystal growth technology. We were the first group to develop this three-dimensional uh, antenna array uh, made from the self-aligned nanopillars and utilizing uh, plasmonic modes to focus the light into the small act region. The system has potential for application in national defense as well as in quantum computing. This is a very exciting time to be looking as a, as a consumer in what uh, nanotechnology can bring you. We've been researching the field called nanotechnology for a decade or more and I think uh, now some of, some of the benefits will start coming to fruition in the next five years. One of her co-founders is PhD researcher Pradeep Sinanayaka. Their young company won funding from the Federal Small Business Innovation Research Program. A customer who is very interested in our technology is the U.S. military and the Department of Defense because they want to see a technology that would enable an IR camera to be mounted on the helmet of a soldier that's light, small, and consumes very little power. Senanayaka and Huffaker believe crystal growth technology is the key to a better, more efficient, and higher performing future. Holomic LLC, a company co-founded by electrical engineering and bioengineering professor Aduan Azjan, is a powerful UCLA engineering success story. The uh, Institute of Technology advancement of the School of Engineering was crucial uh, because it has given me exposure to people who would help me with the business plan and with understanding the potential impact of these technologies in, in commercial space. Founded on Ozjan's work in biophotonics at the School of Engineering, Holomics technologies include portable microscopes and lightweight diagnostic tools that can transmit critical information from the field to labs and hospitals via a smartphone. One device is a portable smartphone attachment capable of identifying objects as small as a single virus and nanoparticles less than one thousandth of the width of a human hair. Ozjan's lab recently invented a smartphone attachment that can conduct common kidney tests and a cell phone camera enabled sensor for allergens in food products. In our recent work we used actually the cell phone itself to look at peanut concentration in food with a very good sensitivity on the order of one parts per million. Ozjan hopes his inventions will not only help the chronically ill in the U.S., but also transform the way healthcare is delivered around the world. It's not going to improve healthcare, it's going to revolutionize healthcare. Because for developing countries, diagnosis and treatment are oftentimes not existing. Like other ITA companies, Holomic will donate equity to the school, benefiting the School of Engineering. The UCLA Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science, leading the quest for knowledge and excellence, educating tomorrow's high-tech workforce, inspiring the next generation of engineers, solving the challenges of today and those of the future.